Hello guys, I'm Yesmith here, and today we're going to be doing a Let's Play of DuckTales Remastered for the Nintendo Wii U. And we don't want it to be too loud, because if it's too loud, you won't be able to hear my wonderful voice. Um, but, uh, let's get started. Um, I'm using a new TV, and I still do not own a screen recorder, so it's maybe a little bit awkward, but let's try it. By the way, I apologize to have time for that little red light. I do not like my camera at all. Um, and I'm sorry about the glare. I need to get a screen recorder. I know I can't right now. Um, and I apologize if some of the screen's cut off. But this is the best I can do right now. So, let's just work with what we got here and uh, enjoy some DuckTales. Because this is one of my favorite games on the NES. And I think they brought it back really well. Alright, so let's start a new game. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna start a new game. Alright, we're gonna do it on easy. I don't know why. I just... I love these cutscenes, so if you don't like the cutscenes, you can just skip ahead in the video. Cuss me, guilt. Me money down on. Quick, duck work. Get the limo. I shall not eat. Get out in gear, sir. Hurry, Duckworth! Hurry! The pedal is to the metal, Mr. McMahon. I love how they got the original voice actors from the actual show to do the voices again. I mean, the guy who does Scrooge's voice, uh, I forget his name at the moment, um, but he is 94, I believe. He's in his 90s, and he's doing voice acting still, and I think, like, what they did with it, it's really cool to have, like, the original voices from the original DuckTales cartoon. Let's just turn this down just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so let's just uh, bounce over here and grab some diamonds. Okay. Alright. So, the more diamonds you collect, the more money you get for your money bin. Uh, which is kind of the whole plot of the whole thing. But the Beagle Boys are after your money bin right now, and you have to protect it. Uh-oh. Huey! Huey's, uh, captured by the Beagle Boys. I guess that's a dumb one. Me money. Hey, don't forget about me, Uncle Scrooge. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Don't worry, lad. I'll save you. All right, so we have to do a pogo jump over here. I'm just going to break all the blocks for fun. And hit the button and hit him on the head. Oh, oh, oh. Now that's what I call a stubby cake. You will hit on the heat, you moronic marauder. You're welcome, lad. But Huey, what are you doing here? Well, we saw the Beagle Boys going into the money bin. Really? Sure. Louie and Huey are here, too. Better hurry up, Scrooge. You might be in trouble. Okay, so we have to go rescue uh, the other two uh, rascals that gotten into my money bin. And we also have to defeat the Beagle Boys. But I'm going to collect as many diamonds on the way as I possibly can. Because I want to do something I didn't do the first time I beat this game. Yeah, this is the second time I'm going through it. I've gone through it. And um, when I beat the game before, I didn't realize there was a gallery where you could buy stuff. Such as, you know, artwork from the TV show music. And I want to kind of try that out this time a little bit more. Maybe not so, so much, but I want to try it. I know I just missed some more uh, treasure that you put down here. Also show you a few different little tiny secrets. Uh, where you can get a few different treasures and stuff. And I know I just missed a gem or something, but uh, I don't have to get everything. But I'll get most and I'll show you. There's a lot of little hidden crevices that have jewels in them. Oh no. I can't get those now. If I would have... Uh, waited, I could have actually gotten up there using the money uh, the treasure chest. So kill some Eagle Boys and uh, 
I think the way forward and Capcom did a really good job on like remastering this whole thing. They used two D sprites which look exactly like the ones that look the the cartoon had. And they used like a two point five D background. So it's like three D but not quite and it, it kinda reflects the cartoon a lot. And I did enjoy the cartoon. It was very uh I, I enjoyed it a lot. Get away from him, you gluttonous goon! Sorry, Scrooge, not a chance! Well, I think, uh, way forward in Capcom, uh, I heard an announcement that they were open to do more remastered titles. I think they should do a remastered Darkwing Duck and a remastered Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Just my opinion, but I think a lot of people would agree with me on that one. And brand new Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Even if they, re I think they should also. This might not be as it wouldn't be as good as this one, but I think they should do a sequel to this one. In remastered, like DuckTales 2 remastered, which was actually an NES game too. But I think they should remaster that one because not a lot of people have the opportunity to play that one. Uh, so it wouldn't be as nostalgic, but I think it would be a really good game for people who were growing up in the 90s to play. Because I think it would be like... I think, I think Disney should partner back up with them to make more games, to be honest. Like, like they did back in the 80s. I, uh, I heard they're no longer business partners. Which makes me sad. Because the Disney Capcom games on the NES are so fantastic. Um, I really think they should do remaster of all these. Only if they can get the license, though. Because that's the only problem with this, all this. It may seem like a dream, but I don't think it would be the easiest thing to actually perform. Um, because Disney owns all the rights to all of these, uh, franchises. And, uh, uh, Capcom and Disney are not working together anymore, as of what I've, as of the rumor that I've heard. Uh, I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I'm going to assume it is for a second. Um, and it would be kind of hard to get the licensing. Actually, I heard when, uh, way before Capcom were interviewed, uh, that whenever they were asked how they got the license, they kind of dodged the question. But they got the license, and that's all that matters. Um, to be honest, a new DuckTales game is like a... It's like a dream come true. I really enjoy the one on the NES. I think it's a masterpiece, and it's one of my favorite NES games of all time. Maybe even one of my favorite games of all time. But I found that one a lot harder than this one, which makes me think that they kind of toned down the difficulty, because people realize, like, you know, the old school difficulties. There's a thing called NES hard, which most people refer to as how hard NES games are to play. Uh, how hard they are to beat more, uh, I do got myself tongue twisted. How hard NES games are to beat, and this one seems easier than the NES version. I still have not beaten the NES version, but I have beaten this version. Um, I'm playing on easy right now. So maybe that has something to do with it. Possibly. Because it is pretty easy. And if you play an easy game on easy mode, it's almost, you're almost certain to beat it. But I think this is like a really good job done by Way 4 and Capcom. Probably my favorite uh, Disney Capcom game. Maybe even more so than the original. But surprisingly, the ratings aren't the best. Uh, they're good, but they're not like, oh, it's a 10 out of 10 game perfect. Because I, myself, think it's the perfect game for me. For me, it's the perfect game. It's like my dream come true for a game. I mean, but if, if, if I could go back to 1980s, the 1980s, uh, when Capcom was making all these Disney games, I would have, uh, and if I already knew this game was going to come out, I'd suggest to them that... Where was I going to go with this? <laughs> I lose my topic really fast. Oh yeah, if I was back at Capcom in the, in the 1980s, and I already seen that this game was released for the Wii U, um, I would tell them to keep closer with Disney, because maybe that could give us some really good remastered titles. 
I mean, like, you could do the Chippendale, like I already mentioned, Darkwing Duck, which is another one that really needs to be remastered. And this is actually the boss battle. So let's concentrate on this a little bit. Although it is a very easy boss. All you have to do is, uh, he throws stuff, you have to dodge what he throws, and you have to knock his face onto his head. And you can bounce on him to get double the point. So let's knock his face onto his head while he has his helmet off. His helmet protects him from everything, which is unfortunate because this would be really easy. Oh, darn. Alright, I'm messing up here. Let's just... Alright, when a game is really easy, it's so easy to mess up, to be honest. If, if, if the game's easy, and the boss battle's easy, and everything, just because you think, just because you know it's easy, you're going to just play it like it's easy. You're not going to play like it's a really intense thing, so you're going to mess up. Which may or may not make sense, but... If you're not taking it seriously enough on the easy game and making it way more, you're you're underestimating it a little bit. Surely there are more valuable. Well, pluck me pin feathers! It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys, boys! What did you find, Mr. Scrooge? Yeah, what is it? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Brick it, dude! What is it, Uncle Scrooge? It's a treasure map, lads. And no ordinary treasure by the look of things. Only Uncle Scrooge would call any kind of treasure ordinary. Yeah. One of the treasures is in the middle of the Amazon, and there's another one in Transylvania, and one very ten miles underground. Hey, wait a minute. Something screws. This last treasure can't be right. Hello. Yeah, there's no Are you talking to somebody? Yes, time. I'm recording. Well, oh. according to <laughs> You're on the camera, say hi. No. To get there, we have to take about okay. 537 million steps straight up to reach it looks that way, lads. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? That treasure's not going to discover itself. Okay, so that was the intro cutscene, and now we're at the main levels, which is actually all the levels that was in the original NES game, and uh, it kind of resembles it a little bit too, but uh, my camera has really bad memory. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop recording right here, and I'm going to make each level in a different section. So I'll have part one, part two, I'm going to do this in a few parts. Just because of the memory of my camera, it can't hold anywhere over, like, oops, can't hold anywhere like over 15 uh, minutes of film. So I'm going to pause it right now, and I'm going to record the other parts, and when it's all done, I'll upload them all at once, and you can watch the entire playthrough. Remember, my channel is 23Sut. So if, you're, if you're seeing this, it's probably, you, you're, you know what my channel is. Um, so please like, comment, and subscribe. I will not be able to get back to you on the comments because of the new Google Plus stuff, and you're probably tired of hearing me ramble. So I'm going to end the video here, and everyone have a good day or evening or afternoon or whatever, and peace out.